Hey guys and welcome to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial we are going to make this crane hook in Fusion 360. So guys let me know, uh, uh, let me tell you one thing that I have assumed all the dimension. There is no particular dimension or I am not using any constant from the internet. So I have just assumed the dimension. My focus is just to teach you guys how to make a crane hook using locked command in Fusion 360. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. And don't forget to support me on PayPal. So let's get started. Switch over to new workspace, create on a sketch and switch the front plane. Start by go to start by going to sketch, create on arc and center point arc. Start from a region, uh, make your arc from this point to somewhere here uh, without any dimension, and then just give the radius of this arc as 190 mm and press OK. Now once done draw two lines one horizontal with any length and another at some angle from origin now go to smart dimension tool select these two and make an angle between them at 66.4 degrees and press ok now press the trim entity and trim this extended line and this one and this one and this one also we don't need some now draw a line from this point a horizontal line with 190.23 mm length just let me slide it here so that you guys can have a better view and another line from this point with a length of 152.76 and press ok let me just slide it here so just delete this line we don't need it this now again go to sketch go to arc go to three point arc draw arc from here to here and this length should be enough that this should be that it should be tangent with this line so as you can see there's a tangent mark so just just, just open the sketch padlet click on tangent and make it the tangent between make a tangent relationship between the arc and the circle also so you can see that it's an now they are they are tangent to the both now again draw a uh, uh, let's make an arc again uh, center point arc start from somewhere here and draw a circle from here all the way to here we don't need any dimensions now and go to smart dimension upload let me just first make them tangent make the tangent relationship between two and then go to smart dimension and we give this a radius of a 93.5 mm 93.59 and then and press ok now let's just uh, from this point draw a line of uh, 60 mm 60 mm and a horizontal line so just uh, and press ok let just click on the trim tool and click on this uh, extended part of that arc and just click on this and this also we don't need them now and then we, we, we can just select all these lines and right click and just place create selection sets and just stop the sketch now we have to go to construct and there's an option called plane along path so we are going to use, use this four times so you guys can click on the three dots here and you can pin it to the toolbar so i have pinned it to the toolbar just click on this click on the path you have just created create a first plane at the starting yeah at the st starting at the distance of one and press ok now repeat the same process and create another plane at the end of the path just slide the pointer at the end of the path and press ok now once done we have to create two more plane between the path the first one should be somewhere around here place it over here and press ok then the last plane will be somewhere here and press yeah and press ok now we have to create four circles three four circles on each of the plane so that we can lock the profile of the uh, hook so just uh, 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 just click on center diameter circle and press the first plane we have drawn and from the origin point the origin point will be in the center of the path draw a circle of diameter 120 
and press ok 120 diameter just and then plus stop sketch so yeah you can see that we have just made a circle in the center of that starting point now again switch the second switch over to second plane and repeat the process this time the circle's diameter will increase by 10 and this will now be 130 mm large and this stop is sketch repeat the same step with the third of plane also from the origin point this time the circle will be bigger and 160 mm and press ok now the fourth plane don't require any uh, any circle to be drawn so just go to create and go to locked so it will ask you about the profile the first profile with the first circle and the second profile will be the second circle and the third profile will be the third circle and the fourth profile will be the end point of the line so just click on the end point you can see that it has locked it around the surface now we have to do is click on guided rail and there's an option for center line because the our profile the curve goes from the center so that with that we have to use the center line click on the center line and it will ask you about trace the center line just click on the center line and wait for your system to response as you can see it has taken the shape of the hook now you can see that it's two pointed so what we have to do is uh, the our last point was the profile 4 and it's written here sharp just click on this and it's click on point tangent and you can see that it's now a thick one press on you can select a new component MR and press just ok so you, uh, let me just hide this plane now what we have to do is we have to extrude this the upper part is extrude command and just extrude it up to a distance of 250 mm select the pro step as operation is join and press ok now we have to make a thread on it just go to create go to thread uh, I am selecting any random thread you I don't know what uh, the crane was consists of what what kind of thread so I don't know so I am just uh, uh, taking any random threads so just uh, select the face actually my system is a little bit slow so let's let it let it give it time I think this is not the one still waiting for system to respond holy shit yeah where the fuck is my thread I think this will work uh, you guys can create any thread you want just click on modeled when you have achieved your types of thread I am not aware or have any idea I don't have any idea what kind of thread is used for hooks just press ok and wait for your system to respond and that's it your hook is completed and you can give it a nice appearance if you want to just go to appearance uh, the appearance steps took, usually took time to open as my system is not that smooth only 4 GB of RAMs you go. so just go to metal, aluminium uh, I would prefer aluminium polished just switch it over and here so here's the crane hook hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to support me on paypal and share and subscribe to my channel for constant updates on fusion 360 thank you and have a nice day